Welcome back, True Seeker. It is February 3rd, 2023, and in the headlines this evening, Elon Musk found not liable for Tesla shareholder losses after his funding secured tweet, which was August 7th, 2018. We'll get to why that date was so relevant. But here we are on the 34th day of the year. And if you're new here, Gematria, the Kabbalistic practice of coding numbers into words, you learn this code, you'll never look at the news the same way again. With the alphabetic order, Twitter equals 115. And Elon Musk made his purchase offer for Twitter on April 25th, 2022, the 115th day of the year while he was following 115 people on Twitter. The word Twitter equals 34 when you use numerology. And for example, the difference would be Twitter adds to 115 when T, the 20th letter, adds as 20, W, the 23rd letter, adds as 23, I, the 9th letter, adds as 9, so on. You just add up the letters using the alphabetic order. T's the 20th letter, W's the 23rd, so on. It adds up to 34 when you use numerology. So T is the 20th letter, but the numerology of 20 is 2 plus 0 is 2. So T is worth 2 in the dark blue cipher. W, the 23rd letter is 2 plus 3 is 5. So you use smaller numbers, thus you get a smaller value. So Twitter's 34, and here we are with more Twitter news. Now the owner of Twitter, Elon Musk, not liable for his tweet on the 34th day of the year. The other two ciphers are intuitive. They are the reverse alphabetic order. Z is 1 back to A is 26, and the reverse alphabetic order with numerology. Remember, Elon Musk wanted out of Twitter his purchase offer on July 8th, which was 74 days after he made the purchase offer. And then who is Mr. 47 is Mr. Trump. And of course, he reinstated Trump by the numbers. Again, you learn this simple code, you'll see through the headlines each day. And Elon Musk, Donald Trump, they've all been performing rituals with Twitter and these exact numbers over and over. So on the 34th day of the year, this. But let's go back to the day that he made the tweet, August 7th. The majority of the world writes that date 7-8. In the U.S., we write July 8th, 7-8. That was the day he wanted out of the Twitter deal. He said something like, what, there was too many bot accounts? That was his reason for being out, wanting out at the time. But both dates can be written 7-8. And in Gematria, Tesla and Jesuit equal 78. And the biggest ritual to date for Elon Musk is when he was declared the world's richest person for the very first time, January 7th, 2021, passing Jeff Bezos. And the thing that was funny about that is it was the 78-year anniversary of the death of Nikola Tesla, who his company's named after. And notice Tesla was born in 56. Bezos was 56 years old at the time. They said the coronavirus pandemic made 56 more more billionaires in the U.S. Of course, coronavirus equals 56, like COVID vaccine, like Society of Jesus. There are a gazillion 56 rituals with COVID. But notice just how they reported that he became worth $191 billion and Bezos was worth $187 billion at the time. Again, who the Jesuits are, are the Society of Jesus. That's their formal title. And Society of Jesus has that Gematria 191 and 187. Thus, they are the puppet masters of the Elon Musks, the Jeff Bezos, the Bill Gateses. Again, all these big tech companies are Jesuit controlled. And these are the front men to help you see through. Or uh, essentially the point of having these Jesuit puppets is so you don't see the gigantic fascist enterprise that is. The federal government and the big tech companies. Because from Microsoft to Amazon to Google... All of these companies are funded with government grants. That's why they have endless resources, because the government controls the printing press. Anyhow, you learn the code, and you see through the Kabbalists who run it all, which are the Jesuits at the top of the pyramid. And by the way, the phrase funding secured equals 78 as well. And just to run through some of these other stories in recent times, it was April 25th, again, that he finished the purchase offer for Twitter, the 115th day of the year. Again, it was July 8th that he wanted out of the deal, which was 74 days later, and another day that can be written 7-8. And when he reinstated Donald Trump, the Donald, he did it 144 days after his birthday. Again, big numbers with the Jesuit order. 
Remember, Elon Musk made his purchase offer suggestion at $54 a share on April 14th. 14 slash 4, like 144. So $54 per share on 14 slash 4, the anniversary of the Titanic sinking, the anniversary of the Lincoln assassination. And for the record, the word censorship also equal 144 and 54. And he has been censoring people since he took over the platform. And he said he, it was about free speech, but then he's not even practicing free speech. He's still censoring people. And, you know, one of the recent headlines was um, over his private jet. I think I documented this on my website. He censored a teenager. Maybe I just put it on my Twitter. But... Um, However the headline was that day, I think it was Private Jet. Let me let me double check real quick. I'll know if it was Private Jet when I plug it in right here. Yeah, it was. Private Jet, 144. Some teenager tracking his private jet, so he got censored. Again, censorship, 144.54, just like Jesuit order, fitting with the pitch he made on April 14th. Again, Jesuits, Society of Jesus, one and the same thing. You learn these numbers, you'll see how many rituals they perform. It's just like when Jesuit Georgetown simulated that President Biden would win the election 144 days before the election, and both Trump and Biden are Jesuits. So We'll keep that part short and sweet. Uh, just before I got on here, somebody asked if I could look into the Black History Month news today. Uh, a black man arrested for stealing monkeys out of the Dallas Zoo. So the kind of stuff they do every year in Black History Month. Last year it was a uh, a black woman who put gorilla glue in her hair. Now this year it's a black man with monkeys. Uh, a year ago today, today's the 34th day of the year, right? The word black has Gematria 34. A year ago today it was a uh, black actor from The Walking Dead who was a zombie, Zombies 34, who committed suicide. This year it's this. But here, let, let's look at this story. Dallas monkeys arrest. Here, pull it up. Uh, okay, so again, 34th day of the year where Twitter is 34, black is also 34, as we just pointed out. The name of the, he's 24 years old, the reflection of 42. 42 is the number stamped all over black history. Jackie, number 42, lost his son at age 24. But Davian Irwin. Okay, it's today's news. They're saying they arrested him yesterday. Um, his name is 137, which is the 33rd prime. They're saying the arrest was yesterday, the 33rd day of the year. His first name, Davian, is 34. And 29, just like black is 29 and 34. Remember, remember uh, Memphis. Memphis has the same gematria as black, 34, 106. And then they said uh, Tyree Nichols was 29. So this guy, Davion, he's got the 34. And he, his name is in the news on the 34th day of the year. And what about his last name? Irvin. 63 like racism. 72, like Jesuit order. The uh, the 70 stands out because racist is 70 as well. I was just talking about this the other day, how in the white supremacist shootings, they always say there were 70 shots fired. White is 70 like racist. But yeah, again, everyday news by the numbers. A black man steals monkeys in Black History Month. I mean, come on. What kind of monkeys are they? Two emperor tamarind monkeys. All right, well, here, let's take the whole phrase. Two emperor tamarind monkeys. It's got the 322 in it. Okay. 119, like fraternal order of police, all seeing eye. The type of monkeys, emperor tamarind monkeys, 106 like black. And remember how, how familiar black is. Again, black is 106, black power is 106, 
Black Lives Matters 106, when spelled correctly, 106 in Park, the BET Show, all the other 106s we've talked about, Obama's Book of Promised Land, 106 days after his birthday, the first black mayor in New York, the 106th mayor, on and on and on. Again, this ritual out of Memphis, five black cops beat one black man, Memphis 106. Yeah, this is, again, it's it's news by the numbers all day, every day. So, what could be more obvious? And then there is the Tyree Nichols story. Out of Memphis, right below. <laughs> so often in these propaganda stories, just purposefully inserted corporate programming. Got a picture of him with the Tommy Hilfiger logo. Tom, and ha Tommy Hilfiger is known for being racist, right? They got the history of racism. And then uh, Doritos. I, I don't know if I've missed out on the story in the past in Doritos, but probably just free marketing. On January 13th, a clouded leopard escaped her enclosure at the zoo. Okay, I guess that's an unrelated story. The Dallas Zoo. Mm. You know, the, we, we talked about this. There was a lot of stuff with coronavirus and zoo animals at the beginning of the pandemic. Just zoo has that 56 as well. And again, Black Power 56, Black Lives Matter 56, also 106. Let me see if there's anything with Dallas Zoo. Oh, Dallas Zoo 33, arrested on the 33rd day of the year. And then his name again was 137, the 33rd prime. All right. Yeah, there's probably even more to it, but I mean, what more do you really got to say? Coded propaganda by the numbers all day, every day. The monkeys were found at a home in Lancaster, Texas. Lancaster's 93, like Black History Month, like how the founder of Black History Month died on the 93rd day of the year. Lancaster's also 30 and 60 like the N-word, 30 like slavery. Again, in New Jersey, you got the 30-year-old woman named Eunice murdered on the first day of Black History. Yeah, I don't see anything with that. Hey, would write it on the envelopes like his name. But yeah, Gematria, all day, every day. Again, news by the numbers. Don't ask me about the um, don't ask me about the spy balloon that they started tracking over the forty first state, Montana, and then it's in Kansas City, like it's Joe Montana right before the Super Bowl. You know, see the overlap. Again, I did a stream on that earlier. If you missed it, I know a lot of you guys are missing my streams because you're not getting notifications. Yes, I did cover the. Arian Foster remarks, you can hit the video tab, hit the short tab, hit the live tab, get caught up on what you missed. And we'll leave it there for now, True Seeker. Have a good rest of your Friday night. Shout out to uh, 40 Central. Hey, 40 Central doesn't have a ranch. By the way, you guys, if you have not subscribed to the 40 Central podcast yet, make sure you're subscribed because soon enough I will go back and do another interview with them. And... Um, yeah, 40 Central. I, I did uh, I did an interview with them about a month back. A lot of people enjoyed that interview. If you're new here, it's not a bad one to watch because it was kind of like a introduction to Gematria. Let me see. Here it is right here. 40 Central Podcast, episode 172. So, if you want to check that out, there it is. All right. Keep up the good work. 40 Central Podcast. Have a good night, everyone else. D26, have a good day. And um, again, thanks. Thanks, everyone who hits the like and the share. Appreciate you guys helping get the word out there. Until next time.